Hi friends, this is Ishan Ali. Uh, we are going to uh, make a lecture uh, about the femoral uh, arteries. So let's begin. I have made here the femur bone, the tibia and the fibula for this purpose. After that I will describe the branches which uh, provide blood supply to uh, these bones. So first of all, as we know, that iliac artery divided into two branches one is the uh, external iliac artery and other is the internal iliac artery after that this is the suppose inguinal ligament after inguinal ligament this external iliac artery is called femoral artery so now this is called femoral artery This I made here the inguinal ligament. Inguinal ligament. This is the external iliac artery. And after the inguinal lig ligament artery, it is called as femoral artery. So now we discussed only the branches originating from the femoral artery. Suppose uh, this is the femoral artery. The femoral artery further gives different type of branches after the inguinal ligament the first branch this is called the second branch and after that another branch so I made here These are the three branches originating from the beginning and the start part of the femoral artery. After this, it have few branches, three to the branches. This is the first branch originating from the femoral artery. This is the second branch originating from the femoral artery. Or we may be we may draw that it's originating from this common artery. Let's cross the bone and move downward. This gives further three other branches. First, this is the transverse branch and ascending branch. This is the transverse branch and this is the descending branch. I will write the names later on. This is the branch, this is a long branch. Second longest branch is new perforating arteries. It will give perforation. Perforating arteries. After this, the femoral artery here. After abductor hiatus, it's enter into the abductor hiatus. Abductor hiatus. And here. This is the femoral artery enter into the abductor hiatus and into the abductor canal and move to the back side of the bone. So I made the dotted lines. I made the little bit downward this way. Abductor canal. And 
we'll start moving to the back side of the bone. Back side. And here the main other branch is originate. It's divided into two branches. First one to the patellar, second directly to the muscles of calf muscles. And this uh, artery which move inside of the back side of the bone through the obturator hiatus, obturator canal, it is called popliteal artery and this popliteal, popliteal artery give further branches from the back side to the front side. Suppose uh, this is the artery. And this popliteal artery goes down, 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 and from the behind of this bone, through this space, it moves forward. So here it moves forward direction. One branch, mm, the remaining two branches, still backward. So I made it dotted lines still backward direction, backward side of the bone. This is the back side. And this artery which comes forward of the bone gives further two branches. Let's go upward and it also give branches which go upward. And it also give branches to the head of fibula. This is the three branches mainly originating from this artery which comes forward direction to the front of your leg. And this popliteal artery gives two branches from the backward to from the upper upper side of the bone and two from the lower side of the knee joint from the tibial artery it gives branches. It form anastomosis with the branches which originated from the upper side. And this also give few branches here. This also give few branches here. And this artery which goes upward and form anastomosis with the descending branch. So I will make uh, the artery which uh, providing blood supply to the back side of the your knee joint here because I made here. Uh, the back portion, the posterior side of your femur. So, for example, this is your obturator hiatus. This one, the femoral artery comes or go backward, back side of the bone, and comes to the back portion, and it's divided into two branches. After reaching out here, the first one to the tibial bone the first one to the tibial bone and the other to the fem femur bone this is the second branch and one branch passes through the space this space and move to the front side of the fibula bone which I made here this one that is from the back side of the fibula uh, comes to the front side of the interosseous membrane through this space so this one I made here and it gives further branches which I made here so the first branch is this one the second branch is this one and the third branch to the head of fibula and this one I wrote the names later on the popliteal artery gives two branches from the upper side. One is this one and the other is this one. So this is the first and this is the second. And from the lower side, this one. 
and this will be from an astomosis and provided blood supply to the patella so it may be called as patella anastomosis so now i will write their names according to their positions so first first of all this one is this one is you know uh, femoral artery femoral artery moving downward the first branch which originate from the uh, beginning uh, of the fem uh, femoral artery that is the superficial epigastric artery or superior epigastric artery it may be called superior epigastric epigastric artery superior epigastric artery I will write A for artery and uh, after this uh, the below there is an artery originating from another beginning portion of the femoral artery that is the superior external pudendal arteries it is called a superior external pudendal pudendal exterior superior exterior pudendal artery and another group of artery uh, which originate from the beginning portion and provided blood supply to the iliac bone so it is called as deep circumflex iliac artery deep circumflex iliac artery so these are the three branches which originating from the start portion starting portion of the femur and after that it gives further branches which provided blood supply to the head of fibula head of femur sorry this is moving back side and provided blood supply to the back portion of the head so it is called as medial circumflex artery which mainly provided blood supply to the head of fem fem femur bone so medial circumflex medial circumflex femur artery so it is going to the back side from the medial side of our body going to the back side of the head of fibula and provided blood supply to the back portion and form anastomosis with these arteries so the artery which originating from the middle portion that is the that this is the longest one of the longest artery uh, which uh, give branches to the muscles of our thigh so they are called as profunda deep profunda femoris uh, femoris artery or profunda femoris artery profunda femoris profunda femoris artery and this profunda femoris artery gives branches to the medial side of our thigh muscles so these branches smaller branches are called as perforating branches which gives uh, blood supply to the muscular region muscle region so it is called as perforating per, perforating arteries and this artery which originate from here and uh, give three branches the first one is ascending circumflex artery ascending lateral side so ascending lateral circumflex artery this one is transverse provide blood supply to the head also the neck of fibula femur bone sorry so it is transverse transverse lateral circumflex artery and 
this one is descending descend descending lateral circumflex artery descending lateral circumflex artery and from the lower portion this gives branches the first uh, we called uh, this as uh, the um, uh, descending genicular artery or simply we call this genicular artery so descending so we call it gen descending genicular artery descending genicular genicular artery and this descending genicular artery further divided into two branches it is articulate and the saphenous artery the artery which is uh, toward the inner side that is called articulate articular artery articular branch artery and this one we call the saphenous 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 artery so this is divided into two branches articulate artery and saphenous artery which give few branches to the head to the knee region further give branches and here the form anastomosis it also give few branches here after that this artery after entering into the hiatus uh, greater hiatus it is called as popliteal artery so it will be called as popliteal artery popliteal artery and this gap uh, through which it passes to the back portion is called abductor hiatus abductor hiatus it is uh, called abductor hiatus abductor hiatus it is called abductor hiatus so this popliteal artery further give branches are here which I demonstrate on the uh, side of so this is called as uh, first branch this is the second branch first branch second branch and from the lower portion um, lower portion this is called the third branch I, I will demonstrate uh, here there this is the fourth branch which originated from the popliteal artery these are the branches of the popliteal artery so after the popliteal popliti artery uh, comes uh, in front of your leg and gives the main branch which is present on the front side of your leg so i may write the name this is called as uh, anterior tibial artery anterior tibial artery and this anterior tibial artery further give branches and the first branch is this one which going up, upside so it is called as anterior recurrent tibial artery anterior recurrent tibial artery tibial artery and this branch which going upside from the posterior side so it is called as posterior recurrent tibial artery posterior recurrent tibial artery and it gives branches which provide blood supply to the head of fibula so it is called as circumflex fibular artery circumflex fibular artery fibular artery and the two branches which is present on the back side of your leg which I demonstrated here this one this one and this branch is shown over here so I will write their names 
on that side for this purpose i will have to remove so first uh, get us a look of this branches which are originating from the femur there is the first branch from the femur artery is superior epigastric artery and after it there's superior external pudendal artery and another branch which uh, provide blood supply to the iliac region that is deep circumflex iliac artery and from here originating the medial circumflex femur artery and this main branch which is the longest branch so it is called profunda femoris which give further little little branches to the muscular region so they are called as perforating arteries or muscular arteries and this which give three main branches to the head of fibula to the head of femur the first is ascending lateral circumflex artery transverse lateral circumflex artery and descending lateral circumflex artery and after this operator ab uh, abductor hiatus it's through the abductor canal it's moved to the back side of your femur bone and give further two different branches one on the superior side but lateral side on uh, the second on the superior side on but on the medial side and from the lower portion it also give branches and after entering the ab abductor hiatus it is called as popliteal artery and uh, before the popliteal artery it give branch it is called descending genicular artery this descending genicular artery gives further two branches it is articular artery and the other is uh, saphenous artery and the saphenous artery and the articular artery gives different little branches to the uh, knee region so they form anastomosis here and provide it sufficient amount of blood supply to the uh, your knee joint so they are called as uh, 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 patellar uh, circumflex or uh, patellar circumflex arteries which mainly provide blood supply over here and after to the uh, after the knee joint uh, the popliteal artery further divide it into three main branches three one to the posterior side and the other to the posterior side of the fibula bone and uh, the third branch which comes forward side through the space just above the uh, interosseous membrane and gives branches so it is called is anterior tibial artery and this anterior tibial artery gives uh, branches which uh, move upward side backward side and gives uh, and form anastomosis or here so they are called anterior recurrent tibial artery posterior recurrent tibial artery and this is circumflex fibular artery i made here So this is the cutter hiatus, your abductor hiatus, adductor hiatus. And this we call as popliteal artery. Popliteal artery. And this popliteal artery gives from the back side to the front side of your knee. This is called as on the lateral side or the medial. This is the medial side, and this is the lateral side of your leg. So it is this one. The this is the second one. This one. So it is superior, superior, medial. Superior medial genicular artery, genicular artery, and this we call a superior lateral genicular artery, and from the lower side, inferior. 
inferior medial gemicular artery and this one is inferior lateral gemicular artery gemicular artery and uh, this branch which go to the front side I demonstrated here and the remaining two branches this is called as fibular artery fibular fibular artery and this one is posterior side so it is called as posterior tibial artery Tibial artery. Tibial artery. So this is whole about the branches of the fe femur bone, femur artery. I demonstrate uh, to the anterior side and the posterior side of both side of the bone and uh, clear all the branches, providing blood supply to the femur bone, to the tibia, and the, to the Fibula. I hope it's clear to you. So just I need Now let's uh, let's uh, look uh, of these arteries branches. The first branch and the first that is the femur artery, which having further or uh, femoral we may call as femur. Femoral artery branches and the second that is popliteal artery branches. Popliteal artery. So the branches of femur, the first branch that is superior epigastric artery. Superior epigastric. Epigastric artery. The second one is there is deep circumflex iliac artery. Third branch there is external pudendal artery. External pudendal artery. The third one is there is descending genicular. Descending genicular, genicular artery, which further give two branches. The first one, the first that is articulate artery, articulate artery, articulate, articular artery, and the second one that is saphenous, saphenous artery. Here, after that, it's give the popliteal artery. Popliteal. Popliteal artery. And this popliteal artery for the give branches, so I will write the branches away on the side. The first branch is superior genicular artery. Superior medial genicular artery. Sorry. Superior medial genicular artery. The second branch it is superior lateral genicular artery. The third branch is inferior 
like medial gilicular artery gilicular artery the fourth branch is inferior lateral genicular artery genicular artery and the fifth branch is posterior tibial artery the sixth branch is anterior tibial artery and the seventh branch is posterior posterior or directly we may call this fibular artery fibular artery so the anterior tibial artery which gives further different further three branches which I demonstrate uh, in the beginning that is the first one is uh, posterior recurrent tibial artery the second one is anterior tibial recurrent artery and the third to the head of fibula that is uh, circumflex fibular artery so all these things about the femoral arteries I hope uh, uh, you understand so take care